Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to Kip Talk. Today we are going to show you uh, a clip on cybersecurity. This is our part four on cybersecurity, and we'll take you uh, to a website where you'd be able to see what is going on. Cybersecurity is for real. You know that. And when you look at all this map and who is attacking who. It is amazing um, and you'll be surprised that what is going on. So let me take you there. The first place I'm going to take you, um, I'll give you the link uh, at the bottom. So it's a threat map at checkpoint. Now look at this map, what is going on. When cybersecurity happens, everything is at stake for a company or a business or a country, government, whatever it is. And what is at stake? People, process, privacy, technology, database, business secrets, financials, um, and so many other things. And this threat is for real. So let's look at the map and what is going on. On the top, you can see that it's 25 million attacks on this day. And every single day when I observe and I look at this map, the number is just going higher and higher and higher. And look, who is attacking who, you might think. Just look at the map. Everybody is attacking everybody. This has become a new warfare, cyber warfare. It's going on. Every country is attacking everybody. It's not that the US only being attacked or everybody is attacking China or Russia is attacking US all the time. It's everybody. US is attacking everybody. Russia is attacking everybody, China is attacking everybody, India attacking everybody, and most of the country in the world, they're attacking each other continuously. And you can see through this map, okay, 25 million, right, so far. Um, usually what kind of entities, any entity is at stake, but usually the very, very high risk areas are health industry, financial industry, government, education, they're at huge and high risk uh, for uh, cyber attacks. So you can see on the left-hand side, it tells you what kind of attack is going on. Um, number of attack, you can see on the top and the country. I mean, look at, the, look at all the vector and the arrows going everywhere. So all the countries involved into attacking one another. But um, top 10, uh, let's take top five. Usually uh, the highest attacked country is actually China, followed by United States, Turkey, Russia, and Brazil and Taiwan is very close. So again, China, United States, Turkey, Russia, Taiwan, Brazil, they are being attacked, the highest attacked countries. Now, are they attacking others too? Yes, of course. They're also attacking um, other country, other websites. How do, how do they, these guys know? What they're doing is they have nodes, um, many parts of the world, as you know, the internet is all like, a, uh, it's connected to the like a web. So they put some nodes and that's how they figure it out. Where are the attacks going on? So it's a very, very interesting site. Uh, if you are interested in cybersecurity, you can take a look at this, watch like, you know, a few minutes every day and you will see what is going on. They even tell you what type of attack is going on. Um, next one, I'll take you uh, to a different site. By the way, I, I will send you these links, okay? At the bottom, you'll see the links. You can click and you'll be able to get there. Next one is I'm going to show you is from the NetScout. And let's see, from the NetScout, for example, here it says number of attacks in first half of the 2020, 4.83 million. Uh, you can get some lot of good information and data over here too. Um, DDoS attacks, okay? DDoS attack is distributed denial of service. So if you're in cybersecurity, you will know. If you're not, you know now. Distributed denial of service. Basically, what it means is basically your um, 
web server or your website is just got hacked and it cannot take any more and it, the volume is so high, it just crashes. So talk about DDoS attack and DOS attack. There are like three to four type. Uh, just to give you a few example, like volume attack, protocol attack, application attack, things like that. Usually what they do is they do ping flood, okay, on the volume attack. On um, protocol, they will do actually a scene flood. And it's a very systemic way it's being done so that, you know, uh, it's, it's bombarded with requests. And that's how it basically crashes, just to give you an overview of it. Of course, it's more than that. And also the application, the same thing. Your application could be also subject to DDoS attacks. Um, let's go to the next uh, side also. We'll see a global map. And this is from Akamai, web application attack. And what you can do, you can actually play with it. So see with the cursor and you can move it. And it will start and showing who is attacking who. So here they're counting a lot of different kind of attack. And if you look at it, it's 95 million uh, daily, okay, daily. That is unbelievable, right? So think about that. Um, what kind of attack do they have? Um, usually it's all sorts of attack, uh, ranging from spyware, adware, logic bomb, worm, trojan, ransomware, backdoor, rootkit, bot, rat. I mean, um, talk about stealth virus, it, all sorts and all type. Um, but one thing is that DOS and DDoS attacks are very common because it, it, all you have to do is flood a website or a server and that's how it just get crashed and everything stops. So uh, from the global side, take a look at the Akamai one. Uh, let's see what is going on. Let me refresh on this one so you can see it better. So what kind of attack usually um, we, we, we would see, right? So usually like top 10, if you go to OWASP website, top 10 OWASP, you should see uh, usually it's a SQL injection. It's one of the top attack. Um, then we have broken authentication, sensitive data, XML, uh, broken access control, security misconfiguration, cross-site scripting. It used to be very high, now it's very low. Uh, insecure deserialization, uh, insufficient logging and monitoring, and using components of known uh, weaknesses. So some people, they buy things that is that could be susceptible to um, weakness, right? So you have to be very careful where do we buy our parts from. Um, could be modem, could be cable, could be any, any type of uh, routers, uh, whatever it is, network card, anything. So I, I think it was, it's working right now and look at it. Akamai uh, global threat map. Um, it took a while, I'm sorry, uh, I refreshed once. So now it looks like you're working and you can actually move the globe and see what is going on, right? So they're, they're, they're monitoring all these attacks, 95 million uh, a day, per day average. And it's going higher and higher. So the risks are real, the threat is real, the damage is real. So we must uh, pay attention to cyber security threats and the warfare. It's, it's a, I think one of the cheapest warfare. Uh, the government could go down, a, a bank could go down, a healthcare industry can go down with this kind of threat. And it, it can be done from um, outside the country or inside the country from somewhere else that nobody can figure it out where it came from, or it's hard to trace where it came from. So you can see the Akamai uh, globe threat map. You can see it. I'll put the link below. If you want to play with it, take a look at it. This is a good tool also. 
Next, I'm going to go to FireEye, which is also a good company in the cybersecurity areas. Let's, let's take a look at their map, what is going on. So this is the FireEye map, a little bit different. So they are saying the financial services top five um, telecom manufacturing and insurance companies are the top five reported uh, industries that are uh, mostly attacked. So take a look at this too. Um, all the country, just look at it, where the attacks are going from where to where. So look at the map, United States attacking Russia, Colombia, um, here, look, India attacking Thailand, um, Thailand attacking some other country, Colombia. It's just going everywhere. Everybody's attacking uh, everyone. Pretty much, pretty much, okay? And uh, this is also a good uh, tool that you can use just to see uh, what is going on in the cybersecurity industry. They're very well known also. And, um, and uh, like I say, the threat is real, so we just have to pay attention to protect um, our assets now. Assets is not only hardcore assets, it's people, it's process, it's technology, okay? Business secrets, um, financials, money, right? And uh, secrets, so many things, database. If you lose our database, it could be really hard and somebody gets stuck, our um, database gets stuck. If it's hacked, then it might take days and days to get that. What do we do? People have a lot of our secrets. What should we do? So these are the things that those who are you are, those of you who are in cybersecurity, and some of you probably are not in cybersecurity are watching. Think again. And also, this is a very good industry to be in um, around this time to get to get uh, get your feet in to this industry. There are a lot of potential in this industry because the whole world is moving uh, in this direction where cyber threat is real and protecting us from cyber threat is also real. So good luck, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, join us again on our next video, which would be on false alarm, false positives and false negatives and IDS. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you again uh, on the next next session thank you